I'm going to cover website platforms, hosts, the best free theme, site builder, and even at the end, I'm going to talk about what plugins you should have downloaded and also give you a few starting blog ideas. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Danny. Today I'm going to break down exactly how I built my blog that I'm going to be able to monetize. Now, if you have been wanting to start a blog to build brand awareness and authority in your community, then now is an awesome time to do it. But if you've started researching, you understand that there's so much information out there. So guess what? I did a day's worth of research and built a blog that I'm really happy with and I'm going to break down everything I picked and why. Let's start with your website platform. Now this should be the easiest choice for you because if you're wanting to create a blog that has the best SEO or search engine optimization that you can eventually put ads on and that is very customizable, then you want to go with wordpress.org. Now WordPress is a site that most all big bloggers use and recommend because of the fact that the SEO is really good, ad companies will take you more seriously if you have a self-hosted WordPress website and also it's super customizable. So all those things that I just covered. Now you can use things like Wix and Squarespace, but I highly recommend just going with wordpress.org. Now the reason that a lot of people don't is because there is a little bit of a learning curve, but I promise you if you do these things, it's going to be pretty easy. I said self-hosted. What does self-hosted mean? There is a difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org. I have already had three people message me recently saying they're trying to switch their wordpress.com to wordpress.org. So don't make that mistake and just start off with wordpress.org and that means you're going to have a self-hosted website. That means that you own it. So WordPress doesn't own it, you have to go and figure out what hosting company that you want. So what is a hosting company? Well, once you have set up your wordpress.org account, you are going to want to get a host. And your host is like the chunk of the internet that you own and use for your website. Your host connects you to the World Wide Web. Now there's a lot of hosting companies that you can use. GoDaddy is a highly rated one and also Bluehost. And I was really leaning towards Bluehost, but then I got worried because there's a lot of affiliates with Bluehost. So I wondered if people just like them because they were affiliates. And I am actually now an affiliate of Bluehost, but because I am so happy that I picked Bluehost. I have had to call their customer service about three times now because I bought my domain, which I'm gonna go over in a second, my domain name, which is like www.heydannyj.com through Google domains. And so it was a process getting to switch over, but the people at Bluehost are so friendly. I ended up talking to one of the ladies for like an hour and she gave me tons of helpful advice for my website that didn't even have to do with Bluehost. So that was really awesome. I highly recommend them and it's inexpensive, but something I wish that I would have known that it seemed like a lot of people did not put out there is that you can't pay monthly for Bluehost. You have to pay at least in year chunks. And so don't be surprised when you check out and it's more than $4 for that month, you're going to have to at least pay yearly. So just something good to keep in mind. And if you're like me, then you're probably thinking, you know what, a year, two years, I can definitely commit that to this blog and I am going to give it that time to grow and put in the work. So having that yearly commitment wasn't a big deal for me. Also, I just chose the cheapest plan. There's different plans, but if you just have one website, I would recommend just you only need the cheapest plan. You don't need to go super fancy, but you can, but cheapest plan, it's worked fine for me. Now let's move to domain names, which is like the www. blah, 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 dot com, which if you sign up with Bluehost, then you get a free domain name. So just some quick tips for picking that domain name is make sure that you can find it on other social media platforms. So Danny J was taken for me. So I decided I was gonna put hey in front. Hey Danny J, I thought it rhymed well. And then I checked Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and I got all of the hey Danny J usernames before I bought the domain just to make sure that I had it. So do your research before you pick your domain. And I recommend if you're not something super, super specific, then just pick your name. And if your name is taken, then add hey or it's or by in front. That usually allows your name to be available and then you can get it all across the social media platforms. Okay, so now you have wordpress.org, Bluehost as your host, you have your domain name. Now you are going to need to start building your site. Yeah. 
Bluehost. So you are going to log into WordPress. WordPress and Bluehost like connect. You are going to want to get a website builder. Now there's a lot of good options here. There's Beaver Builder or something like that, which I didn't even look into. There wasn't enough information. I wanted to find the top ones that people were using. So I was between Divi, D-I-V-I, or Elementor. And I'm so happy that I went with Elementor. With Elementor, there's actually a free version and a pro version, and you can do a lot with the free version. I did my research and I decided right away, I'm just gonna go with the pro version because I liked that they had a lot of templates. I knew it was gonna save me a lot of time. It was only $49 a year. I was like, you know what, I'm just in. And I found a guy who has tons of videos on YouTube that are free that give you Elementor Pro tutorials, and I'm gonna link that below. But I'm really happy that I picked Elementor Pro. But Elementor free is also awesome. And what I might recommend is if you're not sure, then just use Elementor and then you can always upgrade to Elementor Pro really, really easily. Now, once you have your site builder, you're going to want to pick a theme for your website. So that sort of like decides the settings of the website and how it looks, but you can really customize it still. So even if you're scrolling through the themes and you're like, oh, I don't really like that. That's okay. You can still customize within a theme. So. There are two themes that are free with Elementor that I highly recommend. And the theme that I use in my site, if you look, is called Astra. And there are so many good tutorials. And there's one by this guy named Freddie, and I'll link that one below, that I followed in order to learn how to use Elementor and build my site with this free theme. Now, if I were to go back, I wish I would have used the Cadence theme. So I recommend for you, to use Elementor and use the Cadence theme. It is also free. Now, Freddie also has a video tutorial. It's like a couple hours breaking down the entire process of building a website with Elementor using the Cadence theme. It's gonna save you a ton of time and help you understand how to use Elementor more. So I highly recommend using that theme and watching that video to first start building your site. If you are going to use the Cadence or Astro theme, then leave me a comment below letting me know. I want to know how it is going. Another awesome YouTuber to watch who does WordPress tutorials, it's called um, WP Crafters. It's like WordPress for non-techie people. And those are really awesome too. So between that man and the Freddy, I can't remember his last name, they have the best videos. I think personally they're the most helpful for me in building my website that are free and very, very informational. Okay, so before you go and build your site though, there are some plugins that I think you should have on your site before you even start. And one of those is EU Image Optimizer. And this actually makes, when you download a photo, it will automatically compress that photo to be a smaller size. Because if you add big files, like big file images to your website, it's gonna make your website so slow. So if you have this plugin, which is totally free, it's automatically gonna compress those and it'll make your website stay a small size and be able to work faster. These are the other plugins that I also really recommend having. You Image Optimizer, Elementor or Elementor Pro, Google Analytics, which is something you can add later on though, um, iTheme Security, Real Simple SSL, Updraft to back up your website as you build it, Yoast SEO, which will be huge after you build your website and you start putting up blog posts. It will help you really up your SEO game and be able to rank on things like Google. And WP Fastest Cache, that will help make your website work a little bit faster. A good tip that my new best friend from Bluehost told me is that you want to limit your plugins to about 15 or 16 if you can, because any more than that, it will slow down your website. So if you have plugins that you're not using, then I would deactivate those and delete them because they'll just slow you down. If you don't need them, just get rid of them. So now it's time to write your first blog post. I actually recommend having two to five blog posts already ready. And you can just write those right away because you don't need to use Elementor or any sort of site builder to write the blog posts. I would recommend like writing those out and then seeing how they look as you're building your website. That's what I did and that was really helpful for me. So here are some ideas of blog posts that you can do and try and fit in your niche. 10 ways to become blank, something in your niche. The best blank recipe for blank. So maybe that's the best bulletproof coffee recipe for early morning teachers. Like I'm an early morning teacher, my niche. Top five ways you can start being a more productive, duh. Or 15 hacks at being better at, mm. Or <laughs> how to easily start, 
how to learn blank in 30 days. Okay, these are things to just kind of get your mind working. And another thing that's good to keep in mind is always try and think about blog posts that are helpful to your target audience. Think about them, put it in their shoes, how their lives are going to be better. So not how I did this, but how you can do this. Does that make sense? I hope that this video has been really, really helpful for you and saves you a lot of time. I know I wish that there was a video out there that broke all this down, so I wanted to make it and share it with you and save you the time that I wish someone had for me. So anyway, have an awesome day and I want to see your website once you've built it. Shoot me the link to your website that you build below and I will totally check it out and let you know what I think. All right, everybody, well have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.